We're going to show you how to upgrade your 3D printer. We're going to go from Tony Stark to Iron Man without the money and the, the cool suit. But it's going to work better. No, it is a cool suit. We made it ourselves. Except it's naked. Birthday suit. <laughs> Video three, finally. This is the home stretch right here. Here's the part that you've all been waiting for. We're gonna show you how to remove this thing. And then we're gonna show you how to install the correct one of these, not this one, but the, the, the other one. We're gonna show you how to install this properly. And then we're gonna show you this cool little feature that uh, if you don't mess with any of the software and you press the X axis to go right, it goes what? left. Unless this is reversed, then left so basically <laughs> we just went from our right to our left but that's from your right to your left and so none of it makes sense which is exactly what happens when you do this <laughs> so we're going to show you the codes to put in there to get everything adjusted and if you also are operating off of a raspberry pi or use an octo print or anything like that we'll also show you how to do a pid tune which uh, helps calibrate the temperature settings um, and we'll go through all that and show you that in the video so good luck with all this and
You You've done it. You finally did it. You did Congratulations. it. Congratulations. It's done. Woo! Super easy. Um, okay, it wasn't super easy. However, hopefully our instructions was enough to make it easy for you so you could get everything printed, wired up, and attached to the printer with no issues. Hopefully this video has helped you. If it has, I need you to do us a huge favor. Big one. And what are they? Make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe, you hit that notification bell. Make sure it's all because then you get all of them. Now, there is one other piece that I did not talk about. I had to sand my fan, the, the housing of my fan in the back. Uh, in the back right corner, it would hit the stepper motor back there uh, for the Z axis. No, nope. it's going to be the Y axis. Yeah. So it hits the stepper motor on the Y axis and it makes a real bad noise like your printer's going to get destroyed. So I had to sand mine down so it will hit it and smoothly uh, rub up against it and everything like that. Mm -hmm. I'm having no issues with it, but just be aware that if you hit that home button, it's going to hit that thing and make a terrible noise and you're gonna wanna blame me for it because I didn't tell you. So I've told you, make sure you sand it down a little bit. In the comments below, if you've got any suggestions, ideas, or you would just love to show us that our videos have helped you and you were able to completely build this, I'd love to see your pictures of your completed Chad mod. Just remember, we make mistakes so you don't have to. Remember when printing that your temperatures may change with ours, they change from two to five degrees up. So make sure you check your temperatures and adjust it as you go on because your first print won't always be perfect. And you get to play with this.